it's here. Um, I'm excited. 13 books. Oh, man, I'm excited. Okay. I'm going to give people a little bit, a uh, little bit of time to, to pop in. Um, oh, I, I'm, I'm pumped. Like, I'm so excited. I don't know the grades of these. Um, I still remember which books they are, but I do not know what grade they are. Um, so I'll pull up Michael. Hey there. Oh, um, I'll pull up which books they are so we can take a look. Um, just for people to get an idea of what we're going to be looking at here. This is my first ever unboxing um, of CGC. All right. So we got two of the Darth Vader number one Black Kersantan first appearance. We got first printing of the regular cover of the High Republic number one. We got the Stephanie Hans with Yoda and um, Avar Chris. We got the Dark Horse Darth Maul cover. We got Moon Knight number one, the David Mack um, exclusive. We got the Tyler Kirkham Venom number three, where Venom is licking Spider Man and his Spidey senses are tingling. We got the Alan Qua uh, Hulk versus Hulk Buster Virgin. Um, this is the first appearance of Titan. We've got Punisher number one. This is the Unknown Comics. Uh, it was a convention exclusive. We got Crimson Rain number three. This is a Virgin Yoda cover by Tyler Kirkham. Amazing Spider-Man number 88. Uh, this is the first appearance of Queen Goblin on, on it. Uh, Hulk number one, Marco Mastrazzo. Uh, this is where he's like punching the ground and the ground is breaking around him. And we got Thor number eight. Oh, jeez. Thor number eight, where Jane is revealed as the Mighty Thor. Not her first appearance as the Mighty Thor, but... Oh, man. Oh. All right. Registered mail. Weighs 16 pounds. So I'm going to do my best to not see the grade. Um, especially since I don't know the grades. Um, I was tempted to look at it because I got the little report. But uh, um, I can show you. I can show you the, the breakdown. It is pretty spendy. Um, okay, not going to look. Um, so, uh, modern books, which is what I get graded because I don't have the money to grade older books. Um, so there's a membership that you can get that, uh, so this is the first submission I did at, as a member. I paid like $125 or $150 and then I got a $150 credit and 10% off grading. Um, I'm going to share this. All right. So this is the modern 1975 and on the max you can do is $400. So if a comic is worth more than $400, uh, it bumps into the, standard or express um so you're looking at 24 dollars per book if you fast track it which means it takes way less time it's 15 you can then get it pressed and cleaned and everything as additional um 
uh, you can get custom labels. You can do a pre-screen so you can say, I'm going to submit these books. I want to get at least a 9.8 and then any books that don't get it uh, are shipped back to you. Um, but uh, these were all the $24 per book. So let's see. I'm going to pull this way on. Okay. Got to make sure I don't see the label. Okay, don't see the label, don't see the label, don't see the label, don't see the label. All right. Okay. Um, there's the shipping. All right. Are we ready? I'm not sure which order I got this in. Okay, I'm gonna cover this. Okay, I'm gonna cover this all up. All right. So this is the Thor number eight. Hard, hard book to get uh, to get in a nine eight because of the black cover. But uh, let's see here. A nine point four. Okay. Jane Foster revealed as new Thor. I, I should have pressed and yeah, it's all good, Michael. It's all good. Um, I should have gotten this pressed before I submitted it. Um, I'll look at the graders notes after, but I'm seeing there's one good spine tick on here. And then there were probably one, two, three that could have been pressed out and there's a little bit of a spine roll. So uh, there's that. This is actually going to be my giveaway for my Wednesday stream because it's going to be the last stream that I do before Thor Love and Thunder releases. All right. So I'll put... I had a bag. I like that it comes in these bags. Okay, so I'm guessing they did them in order. So that was actually the back of the submission. All right, and now I know which, which area to grab from. Um, okay, we're, we're gonna do the reverse of it. We're gonna do the reverse of it, okay. Promise, I'm not, not looking, not trying to cheat. Okay, this is Hulk number one, the Marco Mastrazzo variant. Okay, ready? Oh, 9.8, awesome. Oh, beautiful, beautiful book. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Incredible Hulk, 768. Comic Trader, Street Level Hero, Unknown Comic Book Exclusive, Donnie Kate Story, Ryan Otley Cover, or Ryan Otley Art, Marco Mastrazzo Cover. <sighs> Thanks for everybody popping in. I know this was uh, an, an, an impromptu stream. Gap, how's it going? Rolando, good to see you. Um, oh, okay, next up. Not trying to see the grades, not trying to see the grades. Okay. So we got Amazing Spider Man 88. Okay, this is the Queen Goblin. I saw it. Dang it. I saw it. It's a 9 8. I'm getting you excited. Uh, that's awesome. I'm like sweaty. I got two. We're two for three. Um, 
This is awesome. This is awesome. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. So this is the Crimson Rain number three. This is the Yoda Virgin variant by Tyler Kirkham. All right. Are we ready? 9.8. <laughs> oh, Salacious was outbid. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 9.8. I'll show them off too again at the end for anybody who missed them. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> what I got. <laughs> uh, hey, fabulous. What's up? Um. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Punisher number one, convention exclusive. All right, new Punisher logo. What are we taking? What are we thinking? Anybody? We taking guesses? So I guarantee you all of these are over 9.0, 9.0. I don't think anything should go below a 9.2, and I'm hoping everything's above a 9.4. Ready? Yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Would you look at that? Uh. 9.8. <laughs> okay here we go what's up next all right Ooh. let's stick with 9.8s oh did i just show that okay this is the virgin alan qua hulk number three hulk versus hulk buster are you ready Oh, Donnie Cates story, Ryan Otley and Cliff Rathburn art, Alan Qua cover. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, what's next? Okay, Moon Knight number one. This is Things from Another World B edition. This is a David Mack cover. All right. Take a look at that beauty. Oh, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Um, oh, my goodness. Vir virgin cover. Thanks. Doesn't say... Look at that. Look at that. Oh. oh, I totally see what Ding did. Oh, damn. Yep. There's one. You, you can see it right there. Across from the T, there's one little ding there, and it carries over to the front. So I'm guessing it got crunched, um, which is why it's not a 9.8. But still, it's gorgeous. Oh. 
Where did I just put the bag for this one? Um, so this submission was the one, no, it, it, they got back around when I was expecting, um, that I sent them off, um, April 1st is when this shipment was sent out. They received it April 8th and now I'm getting it now. So expected, um, all right. <clears throat> Okay, cover that up. Can't see that. Okay. Oh, God, my hand placement was poor. Okay. Venom number three, Tyler Kirkham. Virgin. Spidey getting licked. I'm not going to put these back in their bags yet. Because um, I'm going to show them off again. <sighs> <laughs> hey, Chris. Who? Who? All right. Okay, let's see. The grade is over here, so I'm going to completely cover that. All right. And I'm going to cover this side. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What are we thinking on this? Um, so this one, Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace number three, 1999, Mike Mayhew, uh, Dark Horse, first appearance of Maul. Okay, what are we thinking? What are we thinking here, peeps? Oh, oh. Hugh Fleming cover. There's a little bit of something on this corner. Oh, a 9.2 though. Um, you know what? I'm going to pull up CGC and uh, I can look at the item, this is small, very light dent back cover. Oh, fuck. I see it now. Very light scratch on back cover. Oh my god. Small, very light dent back cover, very light scratch back cover. Okay, you're probably not even going to be able to see it because of the glare, but there's a little denting right up here and a little scratch right across there. And it uh Oh, wait, there's multiple. There's a longer scratch along it. Still. Ah. 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 I wonder what this goes for a 9.2. Oh. Oh. He pulled it away too fast. I blinked and I missed it. Oh, sorry. It was a 9.2. All right. Bastards. All right. Okay. Cover that for me. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm really hoping this is a hard one to get it. Um, This is the High Republic Stephanie Hans variant, number one. This is the first variant I ever bought. This is the first variant comic I ever bought. This is the only comic I am keeping in my collection. 
Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, 13. 13. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> I'll show them all when I when I got them all all when I got them all back up. <sighs> all right, all right. Here we go. This is the first printing High Republic number one. All right. Ah. Nine point six. Um, let's go back to here. High Republic number one. Very light scuffing to cover. Very light spine stress to cover. No, I see the spine stress. I'm not seeing the scuffing, but I do see the spine stress. It's right down. It's going to be hard to see right down there by the barcode. That's it. Cover my face. Cover my face. Sorry, I'm going to reset the camera here. There you go. I mean, he does wear some different stuff in this, but people lost their crap over it. Um, okay. All right, here we go. Last two books, the Darth Vader's. Okay, last two books are the Darth Vader's. All right. Oh, I bet you would take the episode one. Okay. Here we go, Darth Vader number one. First appearance of Black Chrysanthemum. 9.4. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I don't know why I didn't catch that. That's color rub down there and down there. Um, on the spine. Let's see what this one says. Darth Vader number one. The small scuff back cover. Yep, very small, very light bend top left cut. Oh, see, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna show, but uh, 9.4. Okay, and I got one more of the same comic. Okay, one more of the same comic. Okay. Darth Vader number one, first appearance, Black Crescenton. Oh, damn. What the heck? What the heck? This one's in better shape than the other one. What the hell? Um, not, okay, now I can look at the full graders notes. Um, and the grader notes on this one aren't available. Uh, 
Um, this one's in better shape than the other one, and it's a lower grade. Don't get it. That's okay, though. It's okay. For what I got these books for, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. All right. So, overall, we got Darth Vader 9.2 and 9.4. I should uh, I should start a collection of these. <laughs> um, yeah, the one that's in better condition doesn't have the graders notes but gets a lower grade. Um, Nine point six High Republic, and you know what? Nine point six is still a great grade. Nine point four is still a great grade. I know nine point eights are what everybody wants because it's basically saying it's a you know a flawless comic. Um, you know, the, even this one at a nine point two for. This book, okay, I got it for four bucks. Found it randomly. Didn't know what I got. I got the set of them, the number one, two, three, four. This one was in the best condition, okay? I randomly found it in a pull bin for four bucks. At I drove two and a half hours to go get it. I was watching a stream, and I was just like, well, somebody wrote it in, like, marker or something. No, that's the Hugh Fleming. The It's signed because it's his... Um, his artwork and uh yeah so 9.2 i'm still happy with that still happy with that it's not going to be as pricey of a book as i wanted it to be 9.8 tyler kirkham venom <laughs> yeah it is um So let's see here. Now I can now I can look at everything without uh, spoiling myself. So of thirteen books, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven nine point eights. Seven nine point eights. And for my first submission, I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Nine point six. I'm still a little bit upset that that one little ding. But uh, gorgeous cover should get me should get me some nine point eight Alan Qua Hulk number three Hulk versus Hulk Buster. Bjorn Baron's Punisher number one, new Punisher story, becomes the leader of the hand. Um, 9.8 on a convention exclusive is freaking phenomenal. Um, I got to offer this to John first. I know he doesn't have graded comics, but uh, 9.8 Virgin Tyler Kirkham. This one I thought about keeping in my own collection because Tyler Kirkham is my favorite artist. Um, but uh, who knows? A lot of these books, I'm going to have a hard time pricing them out because I've got uh, not a lot of them are graded or there haven't been sales at 9.8s. Um, All right, Amazing Spider-Man 88, All Hail Queen Goblin. This is the Amazing Spider-Man 889, uh, first appearance of Queen Goblin. Art Adams cover.
Marco Mastrazzo Virgin Hulk number one. This is the most recent Hulk run. And then last but not least, and like I said, this one will be my next giveaway. Um, it, it, oh, wow. I should have pressed this. Um, that bend up at the, the corner. 9.4, Thor number eight, Jane Foster revealed as the new Thor. So this will be a giveaway. My timing was good to submit this. I should have pressed it. I should have pressed this. Um, even if I did press it, there would have been, I wouldn't have gotten a 9.8. Even if I had pressed this, I probably still would have got a 9.6. But there's a bend up top here, and there's a couple ticks that could have been pressed out. But still, there it is 13 books. Um, there we go. Yeah. Oh, so how more than half got, uh, got the 9.8s, nine four is nine, six, four. Yeah. Um, lucky number seven. Hell yeah. That is a beautiful Yoda cover. So I just recently shipped off um two comics um it's I'll show the ones that I'm getting graded next eBay, uh, Obi Wan, just one virgin. So this one right here is one of them that I'm getting graded. This is what it's going for raw. It's been, uh, I mean, you can see, ooh, I have the trade of it too. So maybe, uh, hmm. Um, and then uh, Star Wars 1, 1977. The one I have is in better condition than this one. I cleaned it up, so it's being graded. I did the express for, or the fast track for this one. So these two books paid the extra $14 um, to, to get them back sooner because that number one is staying in my collection, but that uh, Obi-Wan just might stay in my collection. We'll see. Um, missed the sale yesterday. Did you sell the Anakin action? I did. Um, Southern Comic Geek. If you know him, Jason got uh, got all of the action figure covers. So, yep, the Anakin, the Darth Vader, and the Obi Wan. So those all sold. I am thinking about doing my next sale on Wednesday because weekends are are a bad idea. Friday, Saturday, Sunday are a bad idea now because it's convention season. So. Um, I feel like a lot of traffic for my sale went to the live people going live from the, the fan expos and those conventions. Um, so Wednesday, I'm thinking Wednesday. So I'll start getting those books entered. Some of these will be up for sale. I'll be giving away this one. So, yeah. All right. There we go. Half an hour. Um, my post office opens in about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go get the 20-some packages that I packed last night and this morning. 
shipped off. Um, and then Sleeping Collectibles is on at noon, noon uh, central time. So a little over an hour. Uh, community yard sale, he's celebrating um, celebrating reaching 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I am going to pop on and talk a little bit about what I've been doing. And I'm going to give away some comics. So uh, thank you all. Um, to Saturday Con this month. Uh, oh, thank you, Steve-O. Um, and if you ever want to talk comics or, you know, I can, you can send me pictures of some of them that you've got. If you've got questions on, uh, you know, how much you think they might be worth, I can, you know, I can uh, lend any, any information or advice that I can give. I'm not an expert on it, but uh, I'm learning a lot. So um, my my sale, I uh, I'm at 655 followers on whatnot now, and this last sale I almost sold a thousand dollars worth of comics, and that was without three big books selling. So uh, yeah, it was an awesome haul. I'll I'll talk to you about the uh, uh, about the the Phantom Menace one there, Salacious. Um, see you, Gap. See you, Michael. See you, Stevo. See you, Ghost. Rolando. Michael Reed, Fabulous Disaster, see you later, from Ice Books, uh, Ice Books, Ice Box Comics and Games, um, have a good day and stay cool.